We've all been there in FreeCAD. We've created our sketch in the Sketcher. We've added a number of both datum and geometry constraints, and we end up with a clutter mess. Worse still is that when we create this sketch and then come back to it after a few version upgrades of FreeCAD, then certain constraints may have changed and they may appear embedded into your design, like I have here. We need to move these out of the way. There is a tool that a lot of people overlook in FreeCAD, and it lives in the Sketcher, and it's called the Switch Virtual Space. This tool, along with the filters, allows you to organize your constraints across two spaces. For instance, at the moment, I haven't got anything selected in my filters. If I swap the virtual space, I see no constraints. Let's go back. I click on the virtual space again. This is also available on Sketch, Sketch Visuals, and Switch Virtual Space. Now, if I selected a number of constraints, I'm holding down Control and select in a few constraints from the constraints on the left hand side, and then switch my virtual space, notice they disappeared. If we click this again, you see them appear in the other virtual space. We've got these here. I can select them using the hungry selection just by clicking on them. If I click on one again, that removes it from the selection. You see them appearing here. And then I can place them back on the other virtual space. The good thing with this is that we can use the filters as well. But at the moment, I have all these constraints here. If we look at the filters, it's clicked. Uncheck that, we can see all of them. Check that again. We see we have a filter selected. So click filters, and at the moment, if I look down, I have all the data and constraints selected. So that's select all and click off. We've got all constraints, and then I can pick from here which ones I want. Or I could use the filters and say, I just want to pick all radius constraints and diameter constraints. So select those. Click off, and then I'm going to select all of them, holding our shift and selecting the bottom one, select all of them there, and we can flip the virtual space. So now we have all the radius and diameter constraints in one's virtual space and the others in the other virtual space. Now I use this for datum and geometry constraints to divide those between the two virtual spaces. So I may come into the filters and select all, select a constraint, use control A on the keyboard to select them. So you have to select one first then use control A and then right click and click show constraints. This will show all the constraints. We can also use the eye icon to show and hide all those constraints there as well. Now I can use the filters and uncheck all and just go down to the dating constraints and click off. Now I can show and hide those or I'm going to take them all, control A and switch them to my virtual space. So now I have geometry constraints and dating constraints on two different spaces. This cleans up the view, makes it a lot easier to work with large sketches. So there's a quick tip of using the virtual space to make your sketching less confusing, less cluttered, and a lot easier in the future. Hope you enjoy that tip, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. 
Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.